The Beaverton Guide to Winnipeg. Widely considered to be the jewel of southeastern West Central Canada, Winnipeg became the capital of its province by beating out such thriving metropolises as Brandon, Selkirk, and screaming boredom, Manitoba. Winnipeg is built at the confluence of the Red and Assiniboine Rivers, which is a fancy way of saying, between two ditches filled with muddy water. Winnipeg is home to St. Boniface, the largest Francophone community in Western Canada. It's just like Paris, but so humid that the bread is always squishy. Home to a diverse food culture, Winnipeg has drawn on Quebecois, First Nations, and Northern European cuisine in order to create something called the Fat Boy Sandwich. Most of downtown Winnipeg is connected by a series of skyways because the outside parts of downtown Winnipeg are always either too hot, too cold, or too ghettoized by tragic racial inequality to be habitable. But that just makes Winnipeg all the more exciting. Relive cowboy times by witnessing some of Winnipeg's many crimes, like stabbings, fatal stabbings, and gun stabbings. Now you know about Winnipeg. And if I ever see you around here again, I'll stab you. I'll stab you so good with my Winnipeg knife.